believe it or not, that water was warm about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> right out of the office, they were right here. You all have become a very special part of my life. I've watched you grow in faith in every manner of grace. I've watched you girls grow from children into young adulthood. I have been able to be part of your family in ways that uh, a lot of ministers never get the opportunity. And I want to tell you on behalf of this church, so my friends, I want you to once again hear the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who said that all authority on heaven and on earth has been given to me. And he asks each of us to go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and in teaching them to obey everything that we have been commanded. And we're to do that remembering always that he is with us until the very end of time. There is one body and one spirit into which we've been called, one Lord and one faith and one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and in all and through all. This promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far away, everyone upon whom calls upon the name of the Lord. Obeying the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, we, being confident of His promises, baptized in His name. And in this baptism, God calls us and claims us and seals us to show that we belong to God, that we have always belonged to God, and that we will continue to belong to God. And because we belong to God, God frees us from both sin and death and unites us with Christ in both His birth and His resurrection. By water and by the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, the body of Christ, and we are joined to the ministry of love and peace and unity. Let us each and every one who have gathered here this morning remember with joy our own baptism as we celebrate with Brian and Michelle and the girls. On behalf of the session, it's important that I present in the right form to you this morning for membership and baptism, Brian and Michelle. Brian and Michelle want to become members of the church, and they have been affirmed by the session of Hemingway. They've been affirmed a long time before that. Part of our family. Part of our memories. Part of the, what makes us a joyful group of believers. And as they become members, they are going to present the girls for baptism this morning. So let us welcome this time together. Brian and Michelle, is it your desire to become members of this church and unite with this body? Yes. Do you desire to be baptized? Yes. Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and teach that faith to your children? Yes. Do you promise to prayer an example to support and encourage one another to be faithful Christians as this church encourages you? Yes. Do you who are the members of this church promise to guide and to nurture Brian and Michelle by word and deed, in love and with prayer, encourage them always to know and follow Christ and to be faithful members of this church if you do signify by saying we do? We do. Right, Michelle, through baptism, we enter the covenant that God has established. And within this covenant, God gives us new life. God guards us from evil. And God nurtures us in love. In embracing this covenant, we choose who we will worship by turning from evil and turning to Jesus Christ. As God embraces you now within this covenant, I ask you to reject sin, to profess your faith in Jesus Christ, and to confess the faith of the church, the faith in which Baptized. Do you trust in the gracious mercy of God? And do you turn away from the ways of sin and renounce evil and his power in the world? Yes. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him alone to be your Lord and Savior, trusting in his grace and in his love? Yes. Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love for the world? Yes. This time, 
allow me to pray over the water that's placed here. We give you thanks, eternal God, for you nourish and sustain all living things by the gift of water. In the beginning of time, your spirit moved over the watery chaos, calling forth order in life. In the time of Noah, you destroyed evil by the waters of the flood, giving righteousness a new beginning. It is you who led Israel out of slavery through the waters of the sea into the freedom of the promised land. And in the waters of the Jordan, Jesus was baptized by John and anointed with your spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, Christ sets us free from sin and death and opened the way to eternal life. Send your spirit, O oh God, to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. And through it, wash away the sin of all who are cleansed by it, raising them to new life and grafting them to the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon each of these, that they may have the power to do your will and continue forever in the risen life of Christ. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, be all praise, all honor, and all glory, now and forever. Amen and amen. Stephen, it's my honor and privilege to baptize you. My brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and you, my sister, in the same name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And for you girls, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I pray, O oh God, that your blessing would rest upon these who have gathered here this morning, that your love would touch them and encourage them to move forward with power and with authority and with a confidence that they are loved beyond all measure. And I pray, O oh God, that you would grant them your peace. That that peace would encourage them, even in hours of uncertainty, helping them to know that you love them, and that your promises will not end. Help them to know that they are loved not only by you, but by those who surround them this morning. And that love will transcend all of the things that tend to separate humankind from one another. Bless them. In the name of your Son, and empower them through your Holy Spirit, that they might be examples of your love and mercy in our community, in your church, and in your world. And for all this, I'll give you eternal thanks and glory now and forever. Amen and amen. My friends, let me introduce to you our newest official brothers and sisters, Alyssa and Carissa and Brian and Michelle. Let us give thanks to God. Ha, 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 ha.